Welcome to the Chrome Perfect User Training and Support Channel. In this video, we are going to look at the analysis program and how we can use automatic or manual methods to adjust the integration of chromatography data. We produce videos to help Chrome Perfect users get the most from their chromatography software. Our content covers troubleshooting, training, as well as operational and functional guidance about the Chrome Perfect chromatography data system. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and we will reply soon. Adjusting the integration. Whenever a raw file is opened, the analysis program integrates the chromatogram according to the threshold, peak width settings and the timed events in the method file. For more information about the theory of chromatography integration, please watch our video titled Chromatography Theory Chapter 4, Part 1, Peak Integration and Detection. I will leave a link to this video below in the description. If the integration is not satisfactory, these settings may be changed within the analysis program and the plot will change to reflect the new settings. Most chromatograms will give a satisfactory integration when the threshold and peak width settings are correctly set. Most of the rest require only a few timed events. Occasionally, a difficult chromatogram is encountered, and one that does not integrate well with any choice of method file settings, and manual integration is necessary. Manual integration is very flexible but is labor-intensive when several chromatograms must be processed. Therefore, it is usually avoided whenever possible. To adjust the threshold and peak width settings, choose the integration pull-down menu, and then select Auto. The following form will appear. The existing threshold and peak width settings for the active chromatogram will be displayed. Also displayed are several items that are not integration settings in the strict sense, but which affect reports. The area reject threshold determines whether peaks are listed in reports or rejected as insignificant. The four numbers, namely the injection volume, sample weight, dilution factor, and internal standard amount, may affect the amount calculations. When the new values have been entered, press OK to apply them and close the dialog, or press Apply to apply them without closing the dialog. Pressing the Restore Original Values button causes the original settings to appear in the form. Pressing the OK or the Apply button will restore the chromatogram to the original settings. To add a timed event, choose the Integration pull-down menu, then select Insert Event. The Operation Assistant and the following form will appear. This form lists the event types. The five most recently used types will appear at the top of the list. As you select from the list, the area below changes to indicate the effect of the event on the chromatogram. To select an event, press OK or double-click on the desired event in the list. Next, click on the chromatogram plot to indicate the horizontal position where the new event should be located. If you make a mistake, simply click again. When the event is properly placed, confirm its location by pressing the Next button on the Operation Assistant or by right-clicking on the chromatogram plot. The chromatogram will be reintegrated and the new event label will appear. To add another event of the same type, simply left-click again. The process will repeat. You must confirm each event before setting the next one. To add an event of a different type, press the More button on the Operation Assistant, select a new event type, and continue as before. To delete timed events, choose Integration Delete Event. The Operation Assistant will appear, directing you to select a region of the chromatogram with the mouse. Click, drag, and release to define the region, which will be indicated by a pair of vertical lines. To delete all events within the region, either press the Next button on the Operation Assistant or right-click on the chromatogram plot. The chromatogram will be reintegrated and the deleted event labels will vanish. If there are no events in the region, nothing happens. To move a timed event, choose Integration-Move Event. The Operation Assistant will appear, directing you to select an event with the mouse. Click on the chromatogram plot, and the nearest event will be selected. The nearest event may lie outside the plotted region, but it will be found anyway. If there are no events in the chromatogram, nothing happens. Drag the cursor to where the event should be located. 
To confirm the action, either press the Next button on the Operation Assistant or right-click on the chromatogram plot. The chromatogram will be reintegrated, and the event labels will move to the new location. Note, adding, deleting, or moving timed events will destroy any manual integration actions that have been made. Therefore, you should set all timed events before performing manual integration. To manually integrate a chromatogram, choose the Integration pull-down menu, then select Manual. The following form will appear. This form shows the possible manual integration actions, and we will look at each individually. Click on any button to see the typical effect of the action. If the Move Peak Start End, Add Peak, or Merge Break Baseline actions are selected, then the Autocorrection checkbox will be active. If this box is checked, then the new baseline will be snapped to the chromatogram. The usual baseline penetration logic will be active and may cause the new baseline to move in an unintended manner. If this box is unchecked, the new baseline will be located exactly where the user put it, even if the position is not correct. For example, entirely above the chromatogram trace. Manual integration normally affects only the adjusted peaks or clusters, and leaves the rest of the chromatogram unchanged. However, if a baseline is moved, or a peak is added, such that the new baseline partially overlaps another peak, then that peak start or end time will be pushed, and that peak will be narrowed. If the new baseline completely overlaps another peak, then that peak will be deleted. To move the peak start or end point, press the Move Peak Start End button. The Operation Assistant will appear, directing you to drag the baseline, actually, the tick mark, with the mouse. Please note if you do not see the blue and pink tick marks, which indicate the start and end of each peak, the option to display them will be turned off in the method file. To enable tick marks, select the Plot pull-down menu, then select Plot Properties. On the Draw tab, at the top of the form, click on the Selection box to enable peak tick marks. They should now be visible on your plot. As you need to use the mouse to select the tick mark to make manual integration changes, it is advisable that these are always displayed when performing these adjustments. To show for all future analyses, select the File pull-down menu, then select Save Method. This will update your method and tick marks will be shown in future. Now, let's get back to moving a peak start or end point. Click on the chromatogram plot near the baseline of interest. The nearest tick mark will be selected. This tick mark may be external, the start or end of a baseline, or internal, at a drop line. If the tick mark is external, then clicking will grab the baseline. A red rubber baseline will appear. Drag this baseline to the desired position, it will pivot around the opposite end. One cannot move this baseline past the pivot point. When it is properly positioned, press the Next button on the Operation Assistant or right-click on the chromatogram plot. The chromatogram will be reintegrated, and the baseline will move to the new location. If the tick mark is internal, then clicking will grab the drop line. A red vertical line will appear. Drag this line to the desired position. One cannot move this line past the baseline endpoints. When it is properly positioned, press the Next button on the Operation Assistant or right-click on the chromatogram plot. The chromatogram will be reintegrated, and the drop line will move to the new location. Note, drop lines usually, but not always, indicate the end of one peak and the start of the next. If you wish to preserve the cluster, be sure to click on the peak that will be enlarged. That is, if you wish to move the drop line to a later time, click on the earlier peak, and vice versa. Since peaks cannot overlap, the other peak will shrink, and a single drop line will result. If you click on the other side of the drop line, then the peak that you clicked on will be narrowed, but the other peak will be unaffected, and the cluster will be broken. To add a new peak, press the Add Peak button. The Operation Assistant will appear, directing you to draw the baseline with the mouse. Click on the chromatogram plot where the baseline should start. As you drag in either direction, a red rubber baseline will appear, and will pivot around the initial point. When this baseline is in the desired position, release the mouse. To confirm the new peak, press the Next button on the Operation Assistant, or right-click on the chromatogram plot. 
the chromatogram will be reintegrated, and the new peak will appear with its baseline. Note, if the new peak begins or ends within another peak, then the new peak will be part of the other peak's cluster. To delete a peak, press the Del Peak button. The Operation Assistant will appear. Click anywhere within the peak to be deleted. The label will indicate the selected peak. To confirm the deletion, press the Next button on the Operation Assistant or right-click on the chromatogram plot. The chromatogram will be reintegrated, and the deleted peak will vanish. Note, deleting an internal peak within a cluster will break the cluster. To split a peak, press the Split Peak button. The Operation Assistant will appear. Click anywhere within the peak to be split. The label will indicate the selected peak. To confirm the split, press the Next button on the Operation Assistant or right-click on the chromatogram plot. The chromatogram will be reintegrated, and the split peak will appear as two peaks on a common baseline, separated by a drop line. To fuse adjacent peaks, press the Fuse Peaks button. The Operation Assistant will appear. Click anywhere within the later of the two peaks that you wish to fuse. The label will indicate the selected peak. To confirm the fusion, press the Next button on the Operation Assistant or right-click on the chromatogram plot. The chromatogram will be reintegrated, and the selected peak and the previous peak will appear as a single peak. Note, this works even when the two peaks are far apart. If the fused peaks are part of different clusters, then the clusters will be fused also. To merge or break the baseline, press the Merge slash Break Baseline button. The Operation Assistant will appear. Click anywhere within the later of the two peaks that you wish to merge or break. If this peak is the first peak in its cluster, then the baseline will be fused with the previous peak's baseline. If this peak is not the first peak in its cluster, then the baseline will be broken, and this peak will no longer be in the same cluster as the previous peak. The position of the label will indicate the selected peak, and its contents will indicate the retention time of the previous peak and whether a merge or a break is pending. To confirm the action, press the Next button on the Operation Assistant or right-click on the chromatogram plot. The chromatogram will be reintegrated, and the clusters will be merged or broken. To repeat the last manual integration action, choose Repeat Last Manual Action from the Integration menu, press Ctrl-I, or press the R button in the taskbar. The Operation Assistant will reappear. Thank you for watching. I hope that you found this presentation useful. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon. This way you will be notified every time we post a new video. If you would like more information about the topics we have discussed or would like to contact a member of our team, please visit our website at www.chromeperfect.com.